Hey guys, I'm LB, and what in the world? <laughs> I think Team Spin finally removed that from, from Bmod at some point, but, uh, that's, uh, yeah. Let's check out Arcadia by K7 Avenger. It's been favorited by Nock and a bunch of others, including Deathwish, Jay Galtney, Red Silence, Sarah Cordinary, Hanky Miller, Nock, etc. A single reversible funnel is the main mechanic in this sequel to Hydra. Ooh. Original puzzle by Magma McFry, tweaked by Case of an Adventure, Brain Twist 2 Destruction, music from Portal 2, comedy equals tragedy plus time. Thanks to Louie Bapa for helping with the playtesting. Alright, well, I liked Hydra. Let's get started with this one. Ooh, fancy stairs. Ooh, more fancy stairs. Ooh, more fancy stairs. Should we go first? Well, there doesn't seem to be much up here, actually. Okay. We could drop a cube onto the button from up here, I guess. Hmm. And over there is... Yeah, so that does pass through. Gotcha. There's also that. Maybe we could lift ourselves up, and then portal... And then portal there. That would be my guess. There we go. That works. And that gets us a cube. I wonder what that little platform up there is for. Hmm. It's very suspicious. What does this do? A flip panel. Okay. Hmm. And this drops another cube, I'm guessing? Ah, so that flip panel will allow us to pull the cube back from up there. What is up there, though? Oh, way over the top, I guess? Yeah, way over the top. Okay, I see. Exit requirement, two cubes, this does our never turns off. So we do have to push them over the top there. Is there a way to reverse the funnel, though? Is that what that does? I wasn't paying attention. That is what that does. Alright. Gotcha. What is this, though? Oh, it's another way to get up there, huh? Hmm, interesting. So it's an alternative from that, I suppose. Didn't even notice the, the two and three there. Alright, so... Now, I guess we just... How do we get back, actually? I suppose we have to walk through this just the right. Yeah, that's the only thing I can see. Alright, walk through the fizzler. But then what do we do after that? Was there a way to turn off the fizzler over there that I didn't notice? No, that fizzler doesn't turn off. Yeah, there's no signage on the fizzler. Gotcha. Alright, well, let's- let's try actually standing on this button and seeing if that do, does any good for us. Not particularly, just reverses the funnel. This is interesting, I wonder what that's gonna be used for. Maybe for pulling a cube off this button? Or maybe when we're over there? Yeah, I think we want to put a cube on this button. And then funnel ourselves over to there, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense. No, yeah, we wouldn't do that. Wait a second, does that line up? It does! Interesting. So if we can figure out a way to get the regular cube over here... How would we get the regular cube over here, though? Hmm. Or any cube, really. Doesn't particularly matter which one. Actually, seeing what I need to do here. That's graded. This is graded. 
Hmm. There's nothing... nothing hiding up here. And if I put the regular cube, like, out here, there's not a way that I can, like, pull it... There's n there's no portal surfaces for that. I'm assuming this little outcropping is just decorative. We can't stand on that ourselves, and then shoot a portal there, because of the positioning of the button. Hmm. But it definitely seems like we would be able to... ...stand up there, and catch the cube, or something. Actually, it seems a little too far to catch the cube, so maybe that's just a little perch, to be across from there. Maybe it's so that we can shoot some other portals, and then pull ourselves off of the perch later? I don't know. I'm- I'm thinking of other stuff other than what I need to do right now. Hmm. Like, one thing I could do is- does the cube auto-respawn? I'm assuming it does, right? Yeah, it does. So now the question is, how would I use that to my advantage? Because I think I could auto-respawn it and capture it there, but how do we actually get it to auto-respawn is the issue. Hmm. Because we have to put it somewhere on this side where we can't really touch it in any capacity. Well, that's not true. I suppose I could put it here and then push it into the Fizzler, right? Yeah, that'll work. Alright. So. Push it into the Fizzler. There we go. And that should capture it, right? Yeah, there we go! That's how you do it. Get in the funnel. Alright. I'm impatient, I'll just grab the cube ahead of time. Right, so, now. Save, continue. So now we're up here. We have the funnel, like that. So we can do this now, right? I believe so. Ah, and then we'll be able to pull it over to the Deadly Goo. Yeah, so I was mostly right in my assertions. What is this perch for, though? It's not particularly evident to me. Because I don't really see a reason that we would want to stay up here. Hmm. Well, I'll save up here, nevertheless. And, uh... The question is, how do we want to pull the cube off? I guess that is for when we have the forward funnel, right? I think we're gonna want to configure it... ...such that we push ourselves up here... ...then we respawn the companion cube, assuming it auto-respawns. Can I test that real quick? Let's just test that real quick, because I need to know these things. Yes, it does auto-respawn. Excellent. Right, yeah. So I think that's what we'll do. Pull this cube to auto-respawn it, and then put it on the button. Give me this. And put it on the button, and get that cube. Instead. Right, and then... Then what? What's that portal surface for? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's just get both cubes over there, why not? Oh, that's actually not aligned the way I thought it was. Interesting. It still works. 
Get over there. There you go. Alright. And then we have to go back through the fizzler. That's fine. I, how did I do that? Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, do, do not put the portal in a weird place. Alright, so. The companion cube is the one we're gonna want to respawn, so that one will be on the button. So the reason I thought Hydra was called Hydra was because one button spawned two cubes. But, uh... In this map, that's not how it is, so maybe I misunderstood the name of Hydra. Right, so... Oh, I should've just left the regular cube on the button. Oops. Well... Yeah, it's easy enough to fix, no worries. No worries. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's easy enough to fix. Right, let's put the regular cube on the regular button. Yeah, and then we can just use the respawn magic. That gradient extends out from the edge of the wall there, just for that reason. Oh, that was an interesting bounce. I think what happens with that is that... As I'm stepping up like that, the little- the little step up, change in height... I let go at the same time as that happens, and the physics engine thinks that I moved quite a large- at quite a large velocity, and so it applies that velocity to the cube. Yeah, I think that's what's going on there. I've never really been able to articulate it before. Right, so... Fix that. We can reorient this later, come on. That was weird looking. Something about that didn't quite seem right. Alright, let's go down here and reorient this cube. Ah, it doesn't matter, we're gonna respawn it. This, this is the one we're gonna respawn, so, no worries. There we go. Save. And continue. There we go, that should work. Now the question is, do we respawn the cube now? Oh, I missed my chance. <laughs> let's, uh, control Z. Control Z, rewinding. Alright, let's- let's try that again, and this time I need to actually think about what I'm doing. There we go. We wanna shoot this as we pass it. There we go. Now the funnel's going through the wall, literally. Alright, so now we're up here. And I'm thinking that that... Hmm... How would we do this? Aha! I see exactly how this works. That is clever. Alright, so first of all... Let's do this first. Then we'll do this. Uh, actually, uh, no. <laughs> Reload! <laughs> I forgot to actually pull the cube through first. I got- that's what the that's what the ledge is for! The ledge is for the cube! Right. Alright, put the cube on the ledge. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Now it makes sense. Hello there. Oop, wrong key. Get in there, get in the funnel. There you go. Now we're gonna spawn- re this- this cube's gonna die as well. All the way through here. Thank you. Alright. Put you on the button. And now me and regular cube are gonna be best friends for this funnel ride. Come on now, hold the cube straight. What are you doing to me? There we go. Cube held straight. Right, and then... we do this. Ah, excuse me. There we go. Right, we did it! That was cool! I had to respawn a cube twice. That's neat. How did I do that?! <laughs> wow. That one was easier, but, uh... Coolio, right. <laughs> nice work, K7 Avenger, I liked that. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!